Hi Gemini, welcome to your August 2020 general love reading. This is your girl mermaid scales tarot. Gemini, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe, healthy, and happy whenever you decide to watch this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you gain the insight and clarity that you seek in your love life by watching this video. If you've been subscribing to me for a few days, weeks, months, even a whole year since I started the channel, welcome back guys. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you show me and the channel through your positive engagement, through your comments, through your messages, through your shares and likes subscribes. I love you guys so, so much and I appreciate each and every one of you in my life. Now I just want to say that this is the number one question I get asked the most frequently. Do I accept orders for personal readings? And the answer is no. And I do apologize for any disappointment behind that. However, I do hold a monthly contest where I select one lucky subscriber and contact them privately to let them know that they've won a free reading from myself for 30 minutes long. If you're interested in entering that contest, go ahead and open up the description box where you'll find the rules of entry there. All right, so let's get down to the basics. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other important placement you feel drawn to by watching this video for the sign of Gemini. This is not going to resonate with every Gemini that watches this video. Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how my intuition and guides pr prioritize the messages I provide during this reading. So if this reading isn't for you, Gemini, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, this is a general reading, so not every message will be for you, and that's completely okay. If the message isn't for you, Gemini, just only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Gemini. Who wouldn't be? I do have to say, Gemini and Cross Watchers, it's important to keep in mind that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles are flipped and reversed, and you're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles as I'm telling the energies, explaining the story behind it. Um... But this is a Gemini reading, so I will make Gemini the main subject of the reading. Alright, let's get started. So Gemini, this is going to be a spread in regards to someone you're energetically or romantically connected to, how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, what they like about the connection and what they don't like about the connection, and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to that connection. Interesting. You already have Sagittarius on the board, someone could have Sagittarius energy. Whether that's in your chart or someone else's chart, you could be connected to a Sagittarius. Whew, a lot of fire. Okay, so now we have Leo on the board. Someone could have Leo in their chart, could be connected to a Leo. But I feel as if someone's trying to deny their feelings for you, Gemini. Someone's trying to deny how much passion they have for you, but instead of communicating that, they want to play it off as it doesn't mean anything, that it's not anything. Um, but it, you, you mean a lot more than what they're saying and you already know this. I feel like a lot of you feel this way because why come in, out, in and out of my life all the time? Why come back in if you didn't think of me, if you didn't miss me in some way? But they try to play it off very cool, calm, and collected. But here's the thing, Gemini. Um, you're someone who doesn't take any BS. You're someone who's very, very serious and is looking for something serious. And if they cannot provide that to you, you're not interested in it, period. Some of you have Taurus in your chart. It doesn't have to be the case. Yeah. But they're afraid that they can't give you the amount of effort that you're looking for because you want the 10 of pentacles. 
You want happiness, long-term fulfillment, prosperity. And this person almost feels as if that is asking too much of them in some way. I gotta be honest and be blunt here, and it could be vice versa for those of you. Um, but they know that if they want this with you, Gemini, they're gonna work, have to work for this a lot harder than they have been. I don't know, and they almost feel as if, I don't know, it's like someone feels as if once the commitment starts, once the devotion starts, that's when the passion is going to die out for some reason. Um, I don't know, I, I just hear a fear of commitment is really what I'm getting from this. But they can't deny that things are, they have passion for you, they have adoration for you, they feel very happy when you guys are good, when you guys are getting along very well, when things are excitement, exciting, passionate. But yeah, Gemini, you're, you're, you already know that there's passion here. You want more than that. You want more than that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they know you want more, but there's a fear of stepping up. There's a fear of commitment. Yeah, Gemini. I feel like a lot of you are playing with a player or a playette here. And a lot of you are already coming to awareness of this. And some of you are just kind of seeking that further clarification, that further guidance. They don't want this to stop. That's the thing. They want this connection to keep going. But... I don't know if they want it in the way that you want this so much. You know, just the seriousness of it all. I feel as if someone that just really likes to just have you around, to have a lot of fun with you. You guys have a great sexual connection. But isn't there something more that they want from this? At the bottom of the deck, I gotta say, Queen of Pentacles energy, Capricorn energy. Some of you could have Capricorn in your chart. And I must say, we now have the King and Queen of Pentacles on the board. So there is a soulmate connection here. There is a reason as to why you guys met each other in this lifetime. I do feel as if there is some sort of karmic debt here between the two of you. That was meant to be fulfilled. That was meant to be paid in this lifetime. But with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, I feel as if Someone gives a lot more than they should be. Or it could be that someone's kind of finally coming to the realization of what they're worth. How much that they give is actually meaningful. And I feel as if right now, Gemini, they may not see at this very second how much devotion, care, loyalty you would give to them should they give you know, more to this than just a good time but I feel as if Gemini the second you pull back that devotion that trust that loyalty that comes with the pentacles the long term that's when they're going to really realize what they've lost again with all the pentacles here and the fire here. Some of you have a lot of earth or fire in their chart, maybe both elements. But really what I'm feeling is the problem within this situation is instead of getting this into a good time, a fun hookup, a very sensual, passionate connection, but finally implementing it into the 3D. And I do feel as if someone wants that more right now than the other person does. Now, I do feel as if there is a lot that is avoided, specifically in conversation. When someone does talk about, oh, where do you see this going? It's like, boom. That's when all the lights turn off. <laughs> That's when someone completely, you know, just recollects themselves, gets very quiet, gets very defensive, and doesn't want to talk about it. But someone wants so much more from this. But is this the right person? Gemini, I gotta say for someone out there, you know, for someone where you're trying so hard to make this work and you just can't get 
a square piece to fit in a round hole, you know, how much, how many more times are you going to try it again and again? And maybe is there a need to recognize that you've done all that you can to get this to work? I'm getting that someone could have a red car. That may be confirmation for someone out there. But with the background of the Queen of Pentacles energy, it, someone really, really wants more from this and someone's really trying to do what they can to make this work. Let's go ahead and get into this, Gemini. How they feel. Knight of Wands in reverse energy. Sagittarius energy. So, with the Knight of Wands, I feel as if someone could be at a distance. Someone may have to drive to go see someone else. A few minutes, a few hours maybe, for someone out there. Um, but Gemini, yeah, with the Knight of Wands in reverse... This is someone who's careless. This is someone who doesn't take things seriously. This is someone who's flighty. Someone who just comes in and out of your life with no intention of staying. Someone who just kind of wants to reel you in but never truly let you go. Because of the connection between the two of you, the sensual passion between the two of you. But when push comes to shove and someone really wants to talk about commitment or taking things to the next level, that's when the ghosting happens. That's when the Houdini activity happens, the in and out. But I gotta say for those of Geminis that have recognized this in this person, um, I feel like there has definitely been a block between the two of you. Whether you blocked this person or you completely, you know, took all the passion out and all the desire out, all the intention out in this person. And they felt that huge. Like very, very strongly they felt that pull away. They felt that pull back. And I gotta say, some of them just think it's a matter of time before it re-sparks again because again, the connection between the two of you is very strong. But I do feel like someone is putting their foot down on this type of behavior here. What they think about you, Gemini, King of Wands energy, Leo energy. So you could have it in your chart. You could be connected to a Leo. Um, they, they don't see there's an ending to this. There's more that they want, especially if you pulled your energy back, especially if you just show no desire towards this. That, that has not stopped them from planning for, you know, this person is very, very confident, okay? This person is very, very charming. This person is very sexy, okay? And I could see and feel why it may be hard to completely let this person go. But the thing is, Gemini, that you have more... You have this person more engaged than you may believe as far as, you know, what they think about you, King of Wands. They still want action from this. They still want some sort of reward from this. I, I don't know why I'm picking up on that. I get this person's very, very competitive. This person's very, very stubborn. And they don't stop until they see a job well done or until they get what they want. I feel like this person could be a boss, in a way, a boss of you or a boss in their career. Um, this person definitely has high goals and ambitions for themselves. So, you know, despite their own feelings of, you know, not really wanting to commit, they still have long term of keeping you around. Again, whether that is just for pleasure, that's the question that's really brought up here. Let, let's get the... I want to see why they're thinking of this energy with you. Let's get some more detail in this. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Four of Wands. Oh. Oh, with the Empress at the bottom of the deck. Okay, wow. Couple things here. Um, 
I gotta say I'm picking up on someone who may already be in a relationship outside of this connection. Um, and maybe Gemini, that's why you may have pulled back or they may have pulled back. Um, but Gemini, for the small amount of you that may be in a relationship currently with someone else, maybe in Aries, again, a lot of fire energy, um, they are either seeking to end that connection between the two of you in some way, sabotage it in some way, or they're just waiting until that's over because, again, they just feel as if they can come back into your life, tell you the sweet words, that promise of commitment and fulfillment, and then they can get you back on again. But I also got to say, Gemini, for someone out there, especially with the Empress card, um, be careful of getting trapped. What I mean by that is that I feel as if someone wants to come up with a way of keeping you in their life. Some it has to do with either getting you pregnant or wanting, um, you know, you wanting, <laughs> they wanting you to impregnate them. Excuse me, I don't know why that was so hard. Maybe because someone doesn't want me to reveal the tea here. Um, be careful of getting trapped in some way with this person because they do want longevity with you, but they want it on their own terms, because at the end of the day, they are very, very physically attractive to you. You are very beautiful, you are very handsome, but not only that, you have everything that they want. And they're, they see, you know, down the road, some sort of opportunity in a potential growth, but it's not what they want right now. And that's kind of fucked up, I gotta be honest, because it's like, you don't get to decide the timeline between us. This is two people here. And I feel like this person's very, very used to having things done their way. And just because it's not right, that, right now for them, it doesn't matter, you know? It's like they want to let you... It's like, how do I describe this? This is such a complicated energy and I can see why you guys are watching this video for insight. It's as if they don't want any sort of terms between the two of you guys. It's almost like invisible strings that they want attached. Nothing's really there, no commitment, no word of commitment, but that it's just like an unspoken rule that you guys will always still end up with each other or having this connection. It's it's not it's not what's gonna go down, Gemini, and I'll tell you why. What they like the most about you is the King of Pentacles energy, Taurus energy, and I gotta say, Virgo also had this card in their exact this exact position. So if some of you have Virgo in your chart, I highly suggest watching that video, um, in case there's messages for you in that specific video. But you are hardworking. You are loyal. You are devoted. You are kind. You are generous. But I feel as if they've seen you now, Virgo, oh, excuse me, Gemini, hold your foot down to this. Put boundaries in. If you want this, you're going to have to work for this. If you want this with me, you're going to have to show me this. And if you're not going to show me, I'm going to keep my value to myself, my integrity to myself, my respect to myself. And when you put that foot down, Gemini, that turned them on. That made it so they see you now as someone that doesn't take anyone's BS. And you, you do have a lot of value that they see. Whether that is, I do have to say with the Empress that we saw earlier, it could be very, very superficial. It could be that, you know, they, I also am getting that they really like how someone dresses. Particularly, I don't know if someone wears like, I don't know, whether someone has very, very nice designer type of things, very well put together, I'm kind of seeing, but also kind of like, I'm seeing denim shorts, whether you're wearing them right now or you wore them last time you saw this person, or they just really like it when you wear specific shorts, okay? Um, but yeah, you held your foot down, you put an end to this in and out, or maybe you will very, very soon. And that's what's going to make them see, oh, okay, Gemini is serious about this. But I still have this caution to tell you, Gemini. 
they may see you for what you want from this, but will they actually do anything about it? Because what they don't like about you, Eight of Pentacles energy, Virgo energy, that you expect a lot from them, that you expect them to put more time and effort into it, and they don't want to. They feel as if the what you guys have right now is enough, that there's not much more that they have to give, and that what you're asking them to give is too much than what they can give. And I feel when I said that, some of you guys are like, my God, are you serious? All they ever do is just send me a text every now and then when it's late at night or when they miss me and then they're off again. How is that putting anything into this? I feel like a lot of you confronted this person or will confront this person. Others of you, I got to say too, with those of you who have already established a boundary between you and this person, um, that maybe you're not showing that you want to put work into this anymore. The desire that you once had to make this in a relationship, that that's something serious and committed, you were kind of like, you know what, I'm done. If you're not going to give this, I'm not going to give this. And for those who are dealing with someone who's very competitive, very egotistical, I have to say that now they're kind of mad that you're not showing that interest anymore, that same desire to work on this like you did at one period of time. What they like the most about this connection, Page of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius Energy. Some of you could have those signs in your chart, could be connected to a fire sign. I mean, things are hot when they're hot. I feel like you guys have done new things to each other sexually or that every time you guys have sex, it's always great. Um, you, you turn each other on very, very easily. You get Someone also feels like they can get the interest sparked easily again. In some way, it's just a matter of time. Waiting for that perfect opportunity to reach out again. Or that's how they've kind of been playing this game for a while. You know, just waiting for the perfect opportunity to reach out to you. Just get things going again. That they can always reappear back in your life. And for some, it's almost with that same sort of energy of things are going to be different. We could start this new. We can have, I'll put more energy into this in time. But it, it fleets. You know, like when you light a match, you know how it gets that huge flame of fire and then it gets to the end of the wood and dud. <laughs> That's how I kind of feel here. But I almost feel as if they like the fact that they can just re-spark this over and over and over again with a different match. But eventually all the matches are going to run out of that matchbook. I mean, it's like this person's like a one-trick pony, I kind of feel. And you're already picking up on that too, Gemini. They have like this one trick up their sleeve of how to get you back in their life. And it's something different for all of you. Something that they say, something that they do. And I almost feel like it's a surprise to you too, Gemini. Like once you really think it's done and over with, they pop up. And that's part of the plan to let you know, by the way. What they don't like about this connection, the Emperor. Aries energy. Some of you could be connected to an Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. Stepping up. Being responsible. Growing up. Having, I don't know. I, uh, You know, this is something strange. I feel recently, maybe for those of you who have had sex with this person, the last time you had sex, there's something off, and I feel almost as if someone couldn't get as turned on, and it really made someone feel a bit like they were underperforming in some way, which kind of pissed them off. I, I don't know who, who is underperforming here, but someone feels as if the last time was, a, was like really disappointing, and it almost challenged someone's pride, someone's ego. I almost wanted to say someone's masculinity, whoever has very, very strong masculine energy in their chart. We're not talking sex or gender here.
But for most of you, I gotta say, this is just being committed, being honest, genuine, doing the right thing. If you, you know, if you don't see any seriousness between the two of us, then end it. If you do, then do something about it. That's what this person is kind of avoiding. Highest hopes, three of cups energy, cancer energy. Some of you could have cancer in your chart. You could be connected to a cancer. I got to say, Gemini, someone still wants their options to be open. Someone still wants to have fun with this. I don't feel like anyone's really looking to settle down. Someone may want to experiment more. I do feel a sense of bisexuality here. Um, and I do feel as if this is just, for now, a good time. And someone needs to hear that. And that someone needs to hear that this is what this person is envisioning between the two of you for now. I'm also feeling lip biting. I don't know if someone bites someone's lip or out of nervousness they bite their own lip. That could be confirmation for someone. And I gotta say for others of you, a very small amount of you, when they leave, they're talking to someone else. When they leave, they're with someone else. And Gemini, for those of you where this is a soulmate contract, and let me be very clear about what I mean by that, because a lot of people think soulmates are Disney character type of relationships that end up happily ever after, and that's not the case at all. A soulmate is someone who we've had a contract with before we were born to meet in our lives, to enlighten us, to help us pay off some karma for some of us from past lives, and to help move us along our own path towards the direction we need to be. And this doesn't have to be specifically lovers, it could be parents, friends, teachers, co-workers, whatever, right? Um, and I feel with saying this soulmate connection, I don't feel as if this is necessarily a fairy tale ending for the two of you, but for you out of this connection to really understand and have the empowerment of what you're worth, what you're not willing to put up with, and this person was just the mirror to reflect your self-love to you. I feel very, very strongly. And should things change, should things, you know, become different within this person that has a lot of growing to do, I gotta be honest, then they will need to show you that, Gemini. You're not the one that has to constantly show your devotion, your loyalty. That is not how this is gonna be played. Deepest fears, Gemini, is the hangman. Pisces energy. Some of you could have Pisces in your chart. You could be connected to a Pisces. I mean, when they come back swinging in your life as if nothing's happened, they're left hanging straight up. That they're just not going to come back into your life all packed and prepared to have a good time and leave when they want to. That if this is something that's going to happen, they're going to have to look at things differently. But for others of you, their fear is that you're going to realize exactly what this is, despite how they keep on trying to hook you in, despite on how they try to keep on coming back in your life, trying to persuade you that something's going to be different about it. You see things for what they are. And maybe for a while you tried to wear rose-colored glasses with the situation, tried to give them the benefits of the doubt, but the illusion has been, has been you know, revealed to you. You see things for what they are now. You're no longer left hanging, waiting for this person to arrive. You're going to move on. And they don't want you. They Again, it's like that hanging, that string. They want that string. They want that energy cord connected to you. Because they really don't want to see you go. But they don't want a relationship either. That's BS. And I just heard freckles. I don't know if this person has freckles. You have freckles on someone's shoulders maybe, but also on someone's nose. Not for everyone. But for the likely outcome of this situation, Gemini, we're gonna go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. We're gonna see the likely outcome of this situation between the two of you, where I'm gonna pull this card, pull some more tarot, and even pull some oracle cards to add to this outcome or any advice for you guys. But before we go, 
Gemini, different than what I did for Virgo's reading. I'm going to ask Spirit what the intention of this connection is. Because I do feel there is a reason for you two meeting here. There is a reason for this connection. But what is it right now, Spirit? What is this connection? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Interesting. So, Gemini, I gotta say, this is what I was saying about the Queen of Pentacles energy, about knowing your self-worth and what you deserve. When you are happy with yourself, you only accept happiness and those who are going to give that happiness into your life and not accept anything less. You need to increase your self-love. You need to increase your awareness of what you can have outside of this connection that just keeps you entangled. You need to have faith that you deserve more, that there is more out there for you, or that someone could give more than what they portray that they're giving. But for Geminis who are struggling with this connection, um, you know, there's more to be had in your love life than what you see right now. And whether it is with this person or not, um, you know, something needs to be said here. Whether that's you finally discuss your feelings still holding those boundaries or if they do come back in your life to hold those boundaries. But really, the truth has to come out of the bag. And it's on this person's end. So I do feel like there is a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that's going to happen that you are going to inspire. Again, we'll see what the likely outcome, but you're really going to communicate what you want, what you don't want, what's going to make you happy, and be very clear if this is something that they can't provide you're over it. But again, we're going to go ahead and take this to the likely outcome for the extended reading, because there's a lot they're not saying, Gemini. Spirit wants you to know there's a lot they're not saying, and whether that's their intention or purpose with this, or it's how they feel about you, it doesn't really matter because if it's not being communicated, it's not going to manifest, it's not going to be done. So keep that in mind. All right, so Gemini, I really hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope you gained some insight and clarity in regards to your love life or the situation you're in. If you did, please let me know. Please drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. But before we go, I do want to say that I am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and handmade zodiac candles at my online shop, mermaidscaleshop.com. I hand select every crystal that goes in each crystal set that I feel every purchaser will resonate with. And I do hand make all the candles I sell in my online shop where I intuitively choose the colors and the scents that I feel every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, please feel free to visit my online shop where you can find a link to the shop in the description box of this video. If we are not joining me for the extended reading, Gemini, I love you and thank you so much for joining me here. I'll see you next time. Take care, Gemini.